Yo, what is going on guys? Bolsey back here today. And this is a little different of a commentary that I do. It's kind of like a Call of Duty style commentary over a matting gameplay. And by the way, the gameplay that you guys are seeing is a team up game mode gameplay with my friend Triggs and we are the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Atlanta Falcons but that's not what this is about anyway the topic of today's commentary is my Madden specifically my Mutt 15 wishes where do I begin right, I'll just begin when you first pop in the game so you get in currently and you log on and say you want to buy a contract you have to go to the store then you have to scroll over to bronze items and you can only buy one at a time well come on EA who wants to buy just one contract there are people out there who won't buy your stupid packs who will play and play and play and play and play and they'll have to buy out contracts so let us buy multiple of them. Let us buy up to 10 at a time. Honestly, that'll make everything so much easier and so much faster and more efficient for everyone. The second point of my Mutt 15 wish list is I want it easier to round up a million coins. Like, give higher rewards for solo challenges. Because that's basically what you're forcing us to do head to head. Unless if you want competition, that's all that head get, head to head can give you. But if you want serious coins, you have to play the solo challenges, the community teams of the week, or the seasons game modes where you get the coin packs and all that. That's where you get the real coins. Head to head is nothing unless unless you give us like a real bonus pack. Which will bring me up to one of my next points. This is point two, point B. Give us a reason to play head-to-head. Head-to-head, -head, head, playing against users is really fun. But if all we get out of it is the joy of playing someone else, then it's not that fun. Because then, why would I ever want to do that? I could play a solo challenge and make double the money or double the coins. Give us an incentive to play against other users. Give us, like, a real coin pack. Or, yeah, actually, just give us a coin pack. Every time we reach a benchmark in head-to-head -head seasons. It was a great addition to the game mode, because it's a lot better than just playing a random solo challenge every game. But give us more reward for it. Or, what you could do is incorporate your... For every win you get um, in your season, have like a bonus coin, re coin reward up with that. So if you do win 8 or 10 games and get that first round by, you do get 3,000 coins. But even if you don't get there and you fall one game short, you still get 7,000 coins. That would be beneficial. But enough about that. Back on to my previous topic, back to 2.A. Give us more coins, because if we have more coins, the game is more fun. I'm sorry. This game mode is about pulling packs. People do not want to pay $200 a week just on packs. Like, I would rather drop quote unquote fifty dollars in coins so it'd be about three hundred K in coins for this game on packs then actually spend the fifty dollars. Now I know what you're saying, oh why don't you just grind out the coins, play games, play coin games, all that. Well I don't think I'm the best player in the world at Madden. I want to be, I try to be, but I'm not so coin games are out these games take too long, even how short I try and make them, or how fast I try and do games in 10 minutes. But that's still 10 minutes, and it's still going to take you 
a good hour and a half, two hours to complete one eight game half season. So that's the thing I want to see. I want there to be more coins per game, packs should cost the same, and or if you are going to have like expensive prices for a legendary pack, go back to the Madden 13 way. 35,000 coins, yeah, that was a while to grind out, but the fact that to buy one, it's 56,000 coins in this game, that is one pack less, one regular uh, pro pack less than double of last year. So you can, last year's game, I don't know, my bad, it's like two uh, pro packs. So anyway, you can get two legendary packs in last game that gave you a real legend that you could actually use versus this year where you could get one legendary pack that probably contains two rookie legends and two pro packs that contain 80... Bleh. That contains 69 overall Manti Teo and 68 overall Jarrell Freeman. So which one would you choose? You gotta go with the Man 13 one. And now let's move on to point three. The packs. When you go to the store right now and you try and buy a pack, your options are buy one pro pack with no limit for 7,500 coins. Or one dollar forty nine cents, whatever folks you vote, and then you have your seven pro pack bundle that costs ten dollars, your pro pack bundle fifteen pack, which contains twenty dollars, your thirty eight pack bundle, which is fifty, and then your fifty pack bundle, which is sixty two. Can't buy them with coins, but you can buy them with real money. I did not mention all pro packs. I did not mention premium packs. Which, by the way, premium packs are a joke. And I did not mention legendary packs. You can only buy pro packs day in and day out. They'll release those other ones on special occasions. The, my wish is... To have all those packs and all those bundles be buyable with coins whenever you feel like it. If I wanna, if it's 2 a.m. and I wanna pop a random legendary bundle, let me do it with coins. I worked hard to get those coins. I wanna actually try and make an investment because that's pretty much what what a lot of people do with this game mode. It's an investment, so you'd say, with your coins. You play all these games, and then you buy a bundle, or you buy a ton of packs. You invest those coins, and hoping that you get something in return. Nine times out of ten, you don't get anything, but when you do, it pays off. And speaking of payoff, we gotta raise the odds. Because right now... The odds are terrible. Like, if I were to rip through a seven pack bundle right now, actually, I did it, and all what I got was a 90. I ripped through 15 packs, my bad. Me and my friend. All we got was a 94 Johnny Manziel, and that was it. And they're so common now. He's like 20, 20 ish K depending on the day and it's like increase the odds I want to pull an ultimate legend Barry Sanders I will buy a legendary bundle with coins with coins and I will pull an ultimate legend Barry Sanders that is what everyone wants to do don't necessarily increase the odds on that player per se but increase the odds on getting any ultimate legend or any Madden 25 card, or things like that. And there should also be happy hours. We had one this entire year, and that was the promo right before the road to the playoff elites, so all the base elites that are cheap now, and were really cheap at that time too, and 
that was it. No, like, rookie legendary Black Friday happy hour deal. None of that. Because we, can, hey, we can't have nice things here. We had that one promo. Unless you want to count Pactoberfest, but that was just crazy. Another thing I'd like to see. I would like to see more 99 overall cards at the jump. Uh, this game, there was, what, one 98 overall card at launch, and that was Adrian Peterson. Like, Calvin Johnson can't get a 99 off the bat. Peyton can't get one. Brady, come on. Come on, Madden. Some of these guys actually deserve these things. And what about the legends? That's right. There were just a bunch of 95 overall legends just littered all over the place in this game. Or even worse, they're rookie legends. Now, it's cool to drop legends every week. I actually like that. You guys at EA did well on that this year. You guys had a lot of promos, kept us entertained. Every Saturday, new legends. Every Sunday, a new promo or some premium packs to go with an existing promo. You guys did well on that, so... Give yourselves a round of applause for that. But, the thing we need to focus on is making the players happy. Because struggling to pull anything is not happy. Because when you're a kid and you can't afford to buy a legendary bundle every Saturday or Sunday... And you're rocking out with your 93 overall squad. And you run into a god squad. How is that fun? It makes you not want to play the game. I suppose you could say, oh, you can play solo challenges, get your skill up, and then come back later and beat kids like that. But we don't want to take that time. I mean, yes, solo challenges are fun. I've completed 400 of them on this gen alone but people want good cards people want cheap good cards and people want to pull good cards it doesn't matter if there are a hundred thousand ninety nines out there if no one can ever pull them and I'm not saying make them limited edition just make them more common because, I don't know, the pack luck in this game is terrible. The coins you get per game is terrible. It's almost like EA does not want you to have coins. Because playing solo challenges and getting a thousand or so on average every game. That's not fun. Nobody wants to do that. And then, if you notice, the people who have a ton of coins they've either played a ton of coin games and won so shout out to you guys you're really good at the game they've either bought in legendary bundles every weekend and sold off every card to get every scrap of coin they can which that's good for you guys whatever do you or they've had people donate and donate and donate cards to them like crazy and they've been spotted a 99 overall team for free. And if that's you, good for you. You're doing something right. The rest of us aren't. But to the common man out there, to the common Madden Ultimate Team player, I'm speaking to you. I know you want to be 99. But you don't have to scam people before that 99. Stay tuned to the next part of the Madden Ultimate Team Madden 15 wishlist series. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the video. Any constructive criticism is always appreciated. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay in the background. I need to go get some more of that. Have a great 4th of July Independence Day weekend. I hope you guys are all having fun and staying safe. But again, I am Folsey. Thank you. And good night.